Hi everyone, Lucy here. So, okay, sorry about the camera and everything. I'm using a new laptop. Um, so the camera seems to be bigger than the other one and it seems a little bit more weird, but I've got to get used to it. But the reason why I'm doing this video is just to update everyone that, um, about a ghost hunting, uh, device thing that in Australia no one was able to actually get it. And now I'm going to probably sound really, really stupid because I don't actually know how to pronounce the name, so I'm really sorry about that. But I think it's called the Ovilus. I think that's how you pronounce it. I really hope that that is how you do say it. Um, sorry if it's not. But anyway, um, so I went on um, a website called ghoststop.com. I wanted to see, um, you know, what ghost hunting equipment was out there, if there's anything on special and everything else like that, and then I saw the Ovilus 3, and I'm like, okay, what's this? So I went to go click on it, just to see the description, and then it said, um, now available for international shipping. I was like, oh my god, because I've been wanting one of them for years, and no one, um, would ship it to me, it didn't matter what website it came from, who I was speaking to, nobody would bloody give me one. And like I find that the actual spirit box, the SB7 one, is really confusing for me to use and to actually understand. It's not that I don't know how to use it because I do. It's more than more of the point on um how you try to understand it because it's so fast, you know, I've usually got to pull out the recorder and everything and then play it back, but the point of the spirit box is so that you can ask questions and hear it live. And so it's pretty much pointless if you can't um, kind of understand what the spirit box is saying. But with the obvious thing from what I've seen <clears throat> is that it's pretty straightforward, um, it's very, very easy to use and basically you can hear it right then and there and so with this one apparently the new one it's got lights on it as well so temperature change and everything else like that <clears throat> so I'm pretty excited about getting it especially the most newest model um, so I'll be definitely doing a lot more videos because it's going to be um, pretty much straightforward with that and Obviously, because my bathroom is so active, that's probably where I'm going to do the majority of, um, sorry, with the videos and everything else like that. So that's going to be pretty exciting. And because it's coming from America, I don't know how long that that will take. Um, I'd say maybe about three weeks. I'm not sure. But um, if you haven't already, join my um, Facebook page because that's where I'll probably update everyone and of course you can subscribe to my channel and you'll be able to see um, the videos that I get done and uploaded. So it's obviously going to be a bit more interactive with my videos coming up because of how you know I'll ask questions and hopefully um, I'll be able to get some straightforward answers like you know I can say you know how many spirits are here and Hopefully, I'll be able to get some great answers from them. Um, so we'll just have to see how it all goes. And I really, really hope that the Obelisk or whatever it's called really lives up to its name and really does what it says that it does. I mean, I have watched videos um, from people that have used it and it seems to be pretty accurate. And that's kind of what I was looking for, a device that can kind of speak live and I don't have to sit there like an hour later playing back and think, oh, so that's what it said. So now I've got to go back later and see if it will respond to my question, if you see what I'm saying. So, <clears throat> um, that was quite expensive, I'll admit that, but um, that's why I'm hoping that in the long run that it is worth it. But if I find that it's not worth it and everything else, I'll probably end up selling it, but um, just hope for the best that it does work. And if you've got any suggestions on how to use that device properly or um, if you've had any experiences with the 
of us and everything else like that, then let me know because um, I'd be more interested to know any information about that. Um, what else? Uh, lately, too, I've been uh, not like hearing voices, but when I'm in the garage um, cooking and everything else like that, I can I could be doing something and then I can hear a voice and then I stop to kind of um, adjust to what I've just heard. But then I can never hear that voice again. So it makes me think that the spirits now are trying to get my attention, but it's not to that extent where they're like moving things around and everything else like that. I'm just starting to feel them a bit more around me now and also um, the voices are a lot more visible even when I'm not um, trying to stand there and talk to them or if they want my attention somehow for whatever reason I don't need to pull out my recorder and um, try to listen to them. So I don't understand what that means. I haven't seen them yet. Uh, I have been having a few weird dreams lately, whether they're spirits trying to talk to me in my dreams, I've really, really got no clue at all. But when I do get up in the morning, I feel that sometimes that is what they are trying to do. I don't feel like there's any messages that they're trying to give me, it's more of them trying to have a conversation with me. Um, I've also been... Uh, talking to my partner. This is actually very interesting. My partner, um, he's the same age as me, and um, there was two experiences that he had in his childhood where he's died twice. And I don't mean like, you know, died for like a day and then came back to life. I mean, he died for like a couple of minutes or so, and this happened to him twice, um, not at the same time, two separate occasions. And I asked him last night, I said, so what happened when you died? Do you remember anything at all? And he said that um, he only remembers on one occasion, the, I think it was the second time that he died, that um, he, he actually did drown, so that's how it happened. But <clears throat> he said that when he drowned, he seen like this um, white light. Mind you, he's 110% sceptical on all of this stuff. He does not believe any of this stuff at all, okay? So just keep that in mind. He saw a bright light, and he said that he remembers seeing, um, like, his relatives and friends and stuff like that. I don't know whether they've passed on or um, whatever, but he remembers like flashes of his life or something and the white light and everything else like that and then <clears throat> he said that he's seen something else but as that was kind of happening then he remembers choking and getting up again so I think the whole theory when you die like the whole bright light thing is possibly true because <clears throat> My partner, like, I'm telling you now, every time I talk about ghost hunting stuff or I go do my ghost hunting stuff in the um, garage and all that stuff, he thinks it's a load of crap. Um, but, you know, there's, there's heaps of skeptics out there. I understand that. And, you know, there's some people that believe a lot, which is me because I've had, you know, experiences, obviously. Some people say, you know, oh, it's all in your head. And some people will just brush it off kind of thing. But I know deep down that maybe some things that my partner does believe but just doesn't want to admit it. But then I could be totally wrong. I mean, he doesn't seem to have the experiences that I do in the garage. Um, there's only been a couple of times when he was just interested and he did a he left like the recorder in there and played it back and there was a couple of EVPs but he kind of just brushed it off type thing so I don't know it's hard to say but living with um a skeptic is hard at times but you get used to it and you just do what you like doing I mean he it's not like he says you know don't don't do it and all this other stuff because it doesn't annoy him 
personally. You know, he does his own thing, I do mine. <clears throat> but I just wanted to share that little quick story about what he's told me about when he died. So I only just found out that last night because I was more looking up about um, people that have actually died and what it's like on the other side. Like, do we have a life over there? Like, can you live in a house and do all this other stuff? And why are some spirits trapped? Like, what does that even mean? What, they can't open the door to walk outside? I'm not sure. I don't really understand that kind of thing. Was where and then some spirits, how they do the same thing over and over again. It, it's really confusing on what people say about the spirit world because it's like how they say that, you know, they come and visit you and all this stuff. Like, I had a brother that passed away um, in 1988. I didn't know him because I was only little myself. I only know of him. And, <clears throat> you know... I haven't had any experiences when my brothers come to visit me at all. Um, although my grandfather passed away a few years ago, he died in the hospital, but I wasn't there that night. Only my dad and my mum were, because I wasn't allowed to be there. But I remember, I don't know if it was that same night or the night before, that same week, I had a dream that I was at my grandfather's house and that he was standing in the kitchen and he hugged me and said goodbye and then I started reading up that you know you can have a dream where your loved ones say goodbye to you that way if you didn't get to see them so you know there was that that I believed in that maybe that was his way of visiting me and saying goodbye but then you get other people that turn around and say that um they're relatives or whatever come sit next to them on the bed at night time and visit them you can actually see them um and for someone like me that's really really into it and captures evps all the time i've never ever seen one my i'm not trying to turn skeptical here or anything i'm not trying to diss anybody's stories or experiences but it just makes it hard to believe sometimes when you try and put all these pieces together as to why someone that rarely talks about spirits or sees them kind of thing and then actually gets to see one over someone that's really, really into it, captures EVPs all the time, lives with them and has never seen them, only hears them. So... <sighs> It's not that I'm desperate to kind of see one, but I'm just interested to kind of interact with one of them and see what it's like to talk to a spirit and that kind of thing and like actually see them with my own eyes without being scared. I don't mean one of those scary ones with a scary face and whatever. Um, I do believe at one stage that my kids were talking to two girls, Sarah and Lucy. I still don't know much about it. And, you know, they were talking about these two girls for quite a while. And then um, they, for some reason, all of a sudden they stopped talking about it. But every now and then, you know, if they're playing that, I'll hear them say, oh, Sarah and Lucy. And none of the girls at school... Um, I called Sarah and Lucy from their class, so, and this was just before they started school as well, so I know it's not from that either. Um, and then, you know, that experience where my son's seen that little girl and heard that cry that I did, and that makes me believe a lot that he was not lying about that, because I never told him about that, so that's pretty scary and full on, I'd say. And then... Sometimes my son will say that the girl um, makes him do bad things, like makes him misbehave. But, you know, <laughs> my son is a bit dreamy sometimes and he does get himself into a lot of trouble when he doesn't listen. But I think that's just him being a, a six-year-old and that's just what happens. But um, nothing serious or full-on um you know, like doors slamming and that kind of thing. Just sometimes the bathroom door will kind of squeak 
and open and shut very, very lightly. But that's probably about it. Um, as for the garage um, with the back door, there's been a couple of occasions where I can't actually open it for some reason. Like, I'm trying to open it and it just will not budge. I don't know why, but that's what's happened. And the other day when I tried to do it, I couldn't open it at all. And I was like, what the hell? Because it was like shut with a really strong force. And usually I can just, you know, turn it and it opens. Like, there's no lock on the other side or anything. And then I said to my sister, I'm like, can you open the door? Because I seriously could not get it open. And then she did it and it opened for it. So, I don't know. I can't explain that. <clears throat> um, I still think about this little girl for some reason. I don't know why I'm still so fascinated with her. But there's still days as well where I wish that I had... A little girl for some reason and I still don't know why I think that I still don't know who this little girl is that hangs around or she's messing with my head I've got no clue at all but um I just basically wanted to share those little experiences there and also for telling those people in Australia that don't already know that but of course if that's how you say it I'm so sorry if that's how you say it um, so I suggest get it because they are going to sell out really, really quickly. I don't even know if mine's going to be shipped yet. I don't even know if they're out, but I just kind of went to order it because I know how quickly they sell out. So <clears throat> I suggest you get it while you can. Um, so that website that I went to was ghoststop.com. There are other websites, but I don't know. I seem to use GoStop whenever I need something. I, just, I like the look of it and everything else like that. So if there's anything that um, you want me to answer in the next video or if you can share your experiences with that type of device, then comment below and let me know. Once again, I'm really sorry about the quality of the video and everything else like that and my noisy birds in the background and everything else. So, once again, thank you for watching my videos and let me know what you